telling us as many as 500 million hotel guests may have had their personal info stolen, Jen, right? Yeah, and I've just been combing over the statement from Marriott International where they're talking about what went wrong here. This looks like a massive breach. 500 million guests. Starbucks is getting ready. Oh, sorry. Let's give you so some other stories. So now pushing the blame to somebody else. Yes, yes, exactly. They're saying, look, we're sorry, but four years. Can you imagine four the time they had to years. process that information? And that's intimate details yeah. for a lot of people when they arrived and left and where they were. Exactly. All and right. We, how about the, All right. the Starbucks porn? Yeah. Now we got, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving from there. Uh, so now we've got some headlines for you. Starbucks is getting ready to stop customers from watching, yeah, porn in their stores. Uh, this came after a lot of people complained. Uh, what's going on is that the coffee chain is now adding some software to block people from watching movies that I'll just say are explicitly for grown-ups, if you have an air. They've got, they're seeing gas that starts with a one. Which is great to see that. And back to the passwords, it is a pain, but it's key, as you said, do it. Yeah. It's important. Jen, yeah. thank you. A university smaller than usual Christmas tree is drawing comparisons to a... How many is 500 million hotel guests, Jen says, may have had their personal information stolen? 500 million is more than all Americans. It's baffling, yeah. So that tells you that this is huge. This is, you know, beyond just our country even. This is a worldwide problem. Certainly worth it after hearing all of that, Jen. Thank you. Yes. A university smaller than usual Christmas trees drawing comparisons to a holiday classic. The U.S. has signed a new trade deal with Canada and Mexico. Jen tells us what this means for you and your wallet, Jen. And I just wanted to bring up because I feel like there's a wrinkle in the NAFTA deal, the new NAFTA or the USMCA. Uh, so before we sign off and move to China, which I promise to do in a minute, I just want to tell you that there's kind of a cockroach in the cake. <laughs> so to speak. Here's what I mean. You remember that America is hitting Canada with tariffs on steel and aluminum, even though they've been a friendly, friendly trading partner for so many years. So you did see all three of the leaders, President Trump, uh, the Mexican president, the prime minister of Canada, standing together and hailing this deal. But look what Canada's Justin Trudeau slipped in at the end happening, trade policies happening this weekend. Yeah, if you're thinking, how will it affect me? Even little things, as the CEO said of Walmart. Yeah. Let's talk pizza now, shall we? We change push -ups, <laughs> push -ups as well. <laughs> we both like pineapple, who knew? <laughs> and think about this fun fact. The I mean, yes. I feel like so much of my life has happened to the tune of Star Wars. Maybe you guys, too. I mean, in you can reference almost Princess anything Leia. to it. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. like during our childhood times. I, I think. feel like when I explain things to my kids, I use Star Wars to like explain politics to them. Really? <laughs> and yeah, you can do I'm that with bad. Wizard of Oz too. The brain, the heart, courage. Yeah. Life lessons, I think. Hmm. All right, Jen, thanks. Well, good morning to you. It is Friday. We are so happy you're here. I'm Susan Hendricks in for Robin Mead. Let's check out the day's headlines for you. Marriott.